we found the elusive blue spot. Hey guys, and welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I am Clifton, and yes, you heard me right, I finally got my hands on a bottle of Blue Spot Irish Whiskey. If you don't know, this whiskey was announced several, several months ago, maybe even almost a year ago, and I have absolutely never seen it in Southern California. Literally within seconds, this sold out in my area. So I am curious, let me know in the comments below, have you guys seen this in the wild? Or is it just one of those bottles that you know exists, but you don't think you'll ever find it? Because that's how I felt until the other day. So I am so, so glad to finally be able to buy this, give it a try, and share my first impressions with you guys. If you don't know, Blue Spot is a cask strength Irish whiskey. It's seven years old from Middleton Distillery, which is the same distillery that makes a good chunk of Irish whiskey. They make the Jameson, they make Red Breast, which y'all know is my absolute favorite. Irish whiskey. So I thought, you know what, let me give the spots another try because I've tried green spot and I've tried red spot. I still tend to gravitate towards the red breast line from Middleton, but I think at cast strength, my opinion may be swayed. This particular bottle is 58.7% ABV, so 117.4 proof, which is right up my alley. It is of course non-chill filtered and it's aged in bourbon barrels, sherry butts, and Madeira casks. So there's gonna be a lot of that sherry fruitiness that I really love about certain releases of red breast. If you missed it, I had a very special 14 year old bottle of red breast. I reviewed it, I'll put the video up here. Honestly, it, it was a game changer. That's one of my favorite whiskeys I've ever tried. So we're gonna see how this one compares because both of these were about $100 MSRP. Redbreast also does have a new cast strength that's the same price. I reviewed that with my friend Ed over at the Rotgut Review. We did a live stream. So if you missed that one, check that out as well. But now is the time that I get to try the elusive blue spot and see if I can get changed from a Redbreast lover to a spot lover. Eh, just, just get on with the review. So one of the things about a lot of these spot releases is I find there's like a coconut note that I'm not the biggest fan of. So we'll see if it shows up here, but I've heard that this one is still very fruity. Let's see how it does on the nose. Oh wow, I'm actually, I really do like the nose on this one. It's more of a green apple, like almost the apple peel kind of note. You can definitely tell that this has some proof on it, but it also has a little bit of like a um, citrus kind of zest to it as well. But I'm curious to see how it does on the palate. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Cheers guys. Oh wow, that really changes. It starts out with a similar like bright fruity note, kind of like the green apple at the very tip of the palate, but then it goes on like a journey. It kind of gets really dark on the finish. It dives into those deep sherry notes that I really love about, again, Redbreast. I'm gonna mention Redbreast a lot, but, but they're the same distillery. It's not like there's much competition, but Redbreast is what I've typically gravitated towards. But this, this goes a really similar direction to my favorite Redbreast, which is that 14 year I mentioned earlier. Doesn't quite have the oaky depth that that one has, because obviously that's double the age, but there's a lot of that sherry fruitiness on the finish that's honestly one of the most appealing aspects of some of the Red Breast releases. The apple turns more into like an apple cinnamon, like a baked good note. There is some of those shortbread notes that are typical of Irish whiskey, more so than I think I've ever gotten on a spot whiskey. I don't know, maybe I should revisit the whole lineup now that I, I realize that like this is amazing. Let me know if you guys want to see me do a stream of green spot, red spot, yellow spot, and of course blue spot. Leave me a comment below and of course a thumbs up if you think that's a good idea. Um, would love to give it a try. They're pretty expensive, but you know, I do a lot for you guys. <laughs> but of course, I can't say that without mentioning my amazing patrons. If you want to become a supporter of the show, you get access to perks like our monthly hangout as well as our after party hangout week to week and some cool physical perks like the Bourbon Bites Challenge Coin. So if you are curious about joining Patreon, you can do that at patreon.com slash bourbon bites. This whiskey is definitely something that I feel like it takes some time, so I'm gonna dive back into it. Yeah, the wood characteristics are kind of popping out of the glass now that I've let it sit a bit. Still that cinnamon, that apple cinnamon, but there's a bit more of like a toasted element to it as well. Yeah, something about how deep and rich it goes when it's nearing the finish is something that really stands out of the glass. I think it's worthy of that $100 price point for that alone. My only wish for this is like, I wish that that intensity would stick around because it goes pretty quick. It hits you with the amazing rich sherry notes, but it dissipates pretty quickly. But I feel like I wish that flavor would stick around just a little bit longer. I gotta give this an absolute recommendation. I think for $100, it is pretty pricey. But when you look at the market, Redbreast just released their new cast strength. It's the same price 
I would actually prefer this over the new small batch cast strength red breast. That's the one in the blue bottle, which, hmm, ironic that it's blue. But I, I would definitely pick this one up over that one. I still think red breast 12 year cast strength, while it sticks around, hopefully, fingers crossed, is the best value in Irish whiskey. It's 12 year age dated, it is cast strength, so. Definitely buy that up while you can. It's still around 70-ish dollars in my area. By the way, if you enjoyed this short review, please let me know in the comments below. I typically do my live streams, so when I find a whiskey that I get excited about, I always want to do a video on its own. So if you like it, let me know. But if not, I'll just incorporate it into a live stream sometime in the future. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I'm Clifton. Cheers, and I'll see y'all next video.